Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that I know a lot of us struggle with, time management. It's something I get asked about all the time, and for good reason. We all want to get more done in less time, right? Whether you're a student, entrepreneur, or just someone who wants to make the most of their day, mastering time management can be a game changer. So stick around because in this video, I'm sharing my top five go-to time management techniques that have helped me personally become way more productive. And I know they can help you too. So the first technique we're going to unpack is the Pomodoro technique. Now, if you haven't heard of it before, the Pomodoro technique is a time management method where you work in focused intervals, traditionally 25 minutes long, separated by short five minute breaks. These intervals are called pomodoros, Italian for tomatoes, because the creator originally used a tomato-shaped kitchen timer. The idea is to break down your work into manageable chunks, preventing burnout and maintaining focus. After every four pomodoros, you take a longer break of 15 to 20 minutes to recharge. This structured approach can be a game changer for those who struggle with procrastination or get easily distracted. Next up is the Eisenhower Matrix, a powerful tool for prioritization. This matrix helps you categorize your tasks based on their urgency and importance. It's a simple but effective way to visualize what needs your immediate attention and what can be delegated or scheduled for later. You essentially create four quadrants. Do, decide, delegate and delete. Urgent and important tasks go in the do quadrant. Important but not urgent tasks go in decide. Urgent but not important tasks are for delegate, and anything neither urgent nor important goes in delete. This matrix brings clarity to your to-do list and ensures you're focusing on the right things. Chapter three, time blocking. Now let's talk about time blocking. I use this one all the time. Time blocking involves planning your day in advance and assigning specific blocks of time for certain tasks or activities. Instead of just having a to-do list, you allocate time slots for each item. This brings structure and eliminates decision fatigue throughout the day because you've already decided what you'll be working on and when. Don't forget to include breaks and buffer time for unexpected interruptions or tasks that might take longer than expected. To chapter four, the Pareto Principle. Now, for the Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule, this principle, named after Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto, suggests that roughly 80% of results come from 20% of our efforts. In the context of time management, it means that a small fraction of our tasks often contribute to the majority of our outcomes. The key here is to identify those high impact tasks the 20% that really move the needle and prioritize them ruthlessly. By focusing on the vital few, you can maximize your output and achieve better results in less time. Chapter five, getting things done, GTD. Last but not least, let's talk about the getting things done, GTD method, a comprehensive system for capturing, organizing and completing tasks. Developed by David Allen, GTD emphasizes getting everything out of your head and into a trusted system. The five core steps of GTD are capture, clarify, organize, reflect, and engage. You start by capturing every single task, idea, or commitment that comes to mind. Then you clarify what each item means and what action needs to be taken. Next, you organize those actions into categories or lists. Regular reflection keeps your system up to date. And finally, you engage with the tasks, trusting that you're working on the right things at the right time. Outro until next time. So there you have it. My top five time management techniques to boost your productivity. I encourage you to experiment with these techniques and see which ones resonate with you and fit your workflow best. Remember, effective time management is a journey, not a destination. It takes practice, experimentation, and finding what works best for you. But the rewards are well worth the effort. Thanks for watching. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more productivity hacks. See you in the next video.